good morning. It's Uncle Lou here. Uh, yep, that's right. It's me, Uncle Lou, live for you on YouTube today. Thanks for watching. You know I always appreciate it. Uh, continuing these superlative videos. Most underachieving was Florida. I uh, did that one. Now we're going to do most overachieving team in the SEC. In my mind, there were only two candidates uh, for this award. Georgia and Missouri. To try to keep this as fair as possible, I chose Missouri as the most overachieving team. Now, why did I choose Missouri over Georgia? I'll start with Georgia. Georgia did overachieve. Georgia was picked to win the East by most media outlets preseason. Of course, they ended up uh, winning the East. But they also uh, won the SEC, uh, which, were they, which they were not predicted to do. Made it to the playoffs. Won a college uh, football playoff game, of course, before losing to Alabama in the national title game. So I, while I do think Georgia overachieved, I think if you look at preseason predictions versus where teams finished, how teams looked in the beginning of the year versus how they looked at the end of the year, I think Missouri was the most overachieving team. Now, I think Missouri was the beneficiary uh, of some epic collapses uh, by, by a couple of other teams in the East, uh, most uh, notably Florida and Tennessee. But Missouri started off terrible this year, like most people assumed that they would. But then they won their last six games of the year to get bowl eligible before losing to Texas uh, in a bowl game. But they came on strong at the end of the year, blew out Florida, of course beat Tennessee. Everyone beat Tennessee, though? Uh, yeah. Uh, so I, I, I'm going to give the edge here to Missouri for the most overachieving team in the SEC. First half of the season, most people had Missouri as possibly the worst Power 5 team, right? I mean, people were talking about Missouri in the same breath with teams like Baylor, Kansas, Oregon State, Rutgers. You know, when you're trying to figure out, okay, who, who's the worst team here? I mean, there's, there's a lot of bad ones, but who was the worst? Missouri was in that conversation in September into October of this football season. Um, before they turned it around in the second half. And like I said, went on a stretch at the end of the season where they won, I believe, their last six games. Uh, finished bowl eligible. Lost their bowl game, uh, which was disappointing. I actually thought they would give Texas a run for their money in that bowl game. Texas, uh, sort of a disappointing team this year out of the, uh, out of the uh, Big 12. But uh, I thought Missouri would win that game, actually, but really just didn't show up in that game. Texas was too much for them. But I still think if you're talking about overachieving SEC teams, I think you have to put Missouri at the top of that list. I'm still not sold on their coach. They do have a legitimate quarterback and a lock. Uh, defense, uh, they don't, really don't have one. Uh, but like I said, you can't, you, you can't deny what they did. You can, you can talk about who they beat. You can talk about the teams they played. You can talk about how bad the East was. Uh, you can talk about whatever you want to talk about. But the reality of the situation for the Missouri Tigers is most people had them pegged to finish last in the East. <laughs> they were widely considered one of the worst teams in America during the first month of the season. And they had a remarkable turnaround winning their last six games of the year, becoming bowl eligible, making a bowl, uh, and not finishing last uh, in the uh, East. In fact, they finished ahead of Florida and Tennessee. Well, they finished fourth, I think, right? Missouri did. Anyway... Your most overachieving SEC team for the 2017 season, the Missouri Tigers.